That is some of my little garden again. And if you look down over here, I'll try to zoom in. You see there's a little uh, tomato down on the ground. And it's uh, been ate a little bit. I'm going to go, go around here. And you see some red stuff now. I just put some hot uh, cayenne type pepper. But you can see there's a, another whole tomato uh, that's been knocked down. And some critter got six of our tomatoes. And there's and a, one of the peppers. A whole plant over there that has been uh, bent over. Now, I yeah, believe. The tomato is missing from the one Lewis gave us. Yeah, well, that plant is almost ate mm -hmm. and gone. Yeah. He tore that whole plant up. And now I'm thinking that it is a squirrel. We came out here one morning and we did see um, a squirrel and he was trying to scramble and get out. And Maggie was freaking out trying to get him. So, anyway, I took these uh, hot pepper stuff mm -hmm. and spread it around uh, because it's supposed to help to stir uh, squirrels. Um, there is some thoughts as to potentially, um, since there was a pepper that was ate, that it might be mouse. We certainly have a possibility of mice, but I don't see uh, any indication. But, you know, we have this wonderful uh, deer, fence. deer fence that I found. It was a deer netting because the deer had originally ate uh, the fence. And, well, it's not allowing deers to get in, but apparently they come down. Uh, from the side here, and they go down the rail. They go over this pole too. And they come on down, yeah. and we have a little wood pole. The squirrel store. Uh, we have a little wood pole over here. Where is it? And they come up. Anyway, they go up this pole. They go up, and then they I guess they go over, and they get into it. And there's a couple entrance ways. They're really smart little critters. I don't dislike them. I just don't want them to eat up my garden so give them seeds yeah well, I, I, we got a we got a feeder really for the birds but the squirrels get in it but it's far enough away we buy uh, peanuts to give i said to maggie them. one time because of the front they they send to dig these little holes they don't really bother the flowers but uh, they, they 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 dig the holes and i said to maggie it's 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 bribery because they're telling me you give us seed, we'll leave your little garden alone. Well, maybe they're saying the same thing with this. But I think that there's just an abundance, and it is uh, um, storage like storage time. season for them. Anyway, that's the latest. There was going to be a couple of tomatoes, uh, but now uh, they're probably not going to make it. They're probably going to end up composting most of this. But there you go. So look into the using caspium or something like that if you got a problem with the squirrels and uh, try to keep your feeders away uh, from your gardens and things like that I, I like I said I don't dislike them uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah um, it's a little disappointing you finally got some uh, stuff growing and then they decide to come and eat it but it is their time of the year to forage there you go bye now